On November 8, 2020, Virgin made history by safely transporting the first people ever via Hyperloop. Passengers traveled at 48 meters per second in a two-seater experimental pod, but the final commercial Hyperloop will be even more impressive. Meant to fit 28 passengers, it'll take you across the country in almost half as much time as an airplane at speeds up to 1,000 kilometers per hour all while offering luxury cabins with everything from wireless charging stations to huge comfortable seats. Are you ready to take a trip on the very first Hyperloop? This is a Hyperloop, a system that uses electric propulsion and electromagnetic levitation under near vacuum conditions to create a new form of transportation that is faster, safer, and even cheaper than traditional railways. It works like this. One set of magnets repels and pushes the train up off the track, and another moves the train ahead. The two sets of magnetic waves work together to push the vehicle forward, reducing friction and allowing it to reach pretty extreme speeds. The super speed is achieved through minimizing air resistance. The Hyperloop's passenger pods move through a low-pressure sealed tube containing a vacuum that sucks out almost all of the air. It mimics the conditions of being at about 200,000 feet or 61,000 meters above sea level. The Hyperloop can propel pods at speeds of over 1,000 kilometers or 600 miles per hour. That's three times faster than high-speed rail and more than 10 times faster than traditional rail. As of 2019, Virgin has already raised $400 million from private investors for the Hyperloop project, with an expected launch date of 2030. But internal documents from 2016 detailed the estimated costs for a 107-mile loop around the Bay Area to be much more expensive. 84 and 121 million dollars per mile for a total cost of 8.98 to 12.94 billion dollars. But it's really not that bad in comparison to some other transportation projects. Britain's ongoing HS2 project, a high-speed rail network, is currently running at a reported cost of $415 million per mile. Virgin's Hyperloop definitely has some cost-saving strategies going for it. The Virgin Hyperloop can have tunnels about half the size needed for a high-speed rail, which could also cut the budget of construction down to almost half. For example, California's current high-speed rail project is projected to cost $80 billion. Replacing it with a Hyperloop would be expected to cost about $40 billion, quite the discount. But now that you know how a Hyperloop really works, it's time to hop on one and see if this new mode of transportation is all it's hyped up to be. Let's take a bike in a futuristic pod. This is our transportation pod. Isn't it beautiful? With Virgin's Hyperloop, there are no timetables. Several pods can depart in the same minute, and they all travel directly to their destination with no stops. At $20 per ride and about 15 million trips per year, the Hyperloop could potentially gross $300 million annually. Today, we're heading across the country from New York City to Los Angeles. It's a distance of 2,445 miles, or 3,936 kilometers, that would normally take 7 hours and 43 minutes by plane, 23 hours and 47 minutes by train, or 47 hours and 30 minutes by car. But with the Hyperloop, our ride is going to be an efficient 4 hours and 28 minutes long. Let's take our seats. The pods are made of durable and recyclable materials. There's even preserved moss in the cabin. We can store our luggage in these racks. There are 28 passengers per pod, and they get to choose from these spacious seats. This is no cramped subway ride. Just check out the skylight shining down into our cabin. We'll get a peek at it every time our pod comes out of a tunnel and travels above ground. We can place our phone on our personal wireless charging station. We better sit down now because it's time to depart. No matter what we encounter, the pod will easily conquer our route. It can climb 10% inclines with a velocity of 100 meters per second, a six-time improvement over high-speed rail. There's a tight turn coming up, but that won't bother us either. The pod will bank around turns similar to a plane gliding through air. We'll feel barely any acceleration as the pod smoothly completes turns that are 4.5 times tighter than high-speed rail. This allows us to smoothly reach high speeds with a turning radius capability of 1.36 kilometers at 100 meters per second. The pod is also looking out for our safety. The pod safety controller continuously monitors our condition. It's air-conditioned and scrubbed of CO2 and airborne contaminants. Plus, there's an automated fire suppression system. The pod also uses rapid tube repressurization, venting valves along along the tube's length can safely and quickly repressurize the cabin. The tube also contains emergency exits every 75 meters, so there's no need to feel like you're trapped underground. But it looks like we finally reached our stop. The pod uses a handy LED notification system to tell us when the ride is over. The airlock will gradually and safely bring the vehicle out of the near vacuum environment, and we can step out into sunny LA. 
The Hyperloop isn't just super convenient, it's also much better for our environment. It's fully electric with zero direct emissions, and solar panels can be installed on the outer surface of the tube. It will also have unparalleled economic benefits. A proposed route between the Indian cities of Mumbai and Pune, a distance of about 75 miles, will be able to move 150 million passengers annually. The four-hour journey will be reduced to just 25 minutes, while taking 150,000 tons of CO2 out of the air every year. Citizens will be able to live and work where they want, creating an estimated $36 billion in socioeconomic benefits. Over the lifespan of the project, the Hyperloop could create 180,000 new jobs. If Virgin is right about their ambitious project, the benefits of this new mode of mass transportation could change the future of travel forever. One of the most expensive transportation projects currently underway is the Persian Gulf Railway System for an estimated $250 billion, so maybe a Hyperloop really does offer a cheaper and more flexible way to travel. Well, if it all works according to plan. Thanks for watching.